In America, men have the right to communicate what they know from their seasoning of experience. A man who is in his 50s has had quite a lot of life to live. He's had quite a lot of personal situations. He's had quite a lot of professional opportunities. He knows what the Lord works through in every way. What I mean is that every day people have the right to learn something. But a 23-year-old child has had very little real life to understand why he shouldn't play wild. This morning I found that half of my Pop-Tarts are gone that I purchased yesterday. I shared some information with only two people, technically, about how I got them and how I purchased them. And now they're gone. Someone put their hands in my tent. That was obvious because of how my tent was found this morning. I also found that one of my best bungee cords that I still had from purchasing from the Dollar Tree was again abused by someone, or traded out by someone who's immoral and highly illegal. The liars of an American police force do play games like this. I've had my property bag stolen in another community, and God said, you'll get it back, and I was glad. But the reality is that somehow they got my name, and they played into a particular uh, St. Vincent de Paul situation, and I got a card, but then someone broke that. The liars of America are always playing games with people's lives, people's minds, people's hearts, and people's money. You see, everything I purchase is purchased with my money, money that I have earned from my conversations spent in talking to people. That is what a salesman does do. A salesman serves you in some way and you make a choice, a conscious choice to make a purchase of their opportunity. There's an opportunity to help me which is provided in donations to my ministry called Life Force Mission, M2N Ministry. My ministry belongs to me. The letters mean something to me. In the simplest of terms, they mean that one man is helping another man. Generally speaking, I've only had two men, possibly three, and the third was quite the shock to me, provide me with some what we call paltry donation money, meaning they significantly gave to me in some way. One helped me twice with his money totaling $30 in two donations, and then he bought me some water, which I really appreciated that day. It saved me the travel to go buy the water I always buy there. My concern is that somebody's playing with those water bottles and taking the handles off them, which means it makes it much harder for an elderly person to lift them and utilize them, and most of their target market is seasoned people who are on budgets or just prefer a deal. So that's immoral in my mind. It could also mean that someone is playing with the water, taking the water, and replacing it in some way. You see, a journalist is always observa observing what is possible and plausible and possibly not happening, but there's always a question of why. Are you changing the marketing of this bottle? The bottle comes with a handle. Why would you change the marketing of that bottle? All of those things falling off is not really logical. Are you taking those handles and putting them on other things so you can sell something? You see, a questioning mind is always a questioning mind. But what I'm saying is that from time to time, I would like to know that the things that I invest my hard-earned dollars in are mine. Don't you have the same in permission? That the things you buy for your life belong to you. They are technically called your possessions. And under the Fourth Amendment, they are protected in every way. That we have the right to be safe in our personhood. We have the right to be protected for our property. And we have the ability to have our paperwork unplayed with by total strangers who are lying to you every day.